Whoa, 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 what? I cannot believe there's a show centered around that. Have you ever been watching a TV show and just thought to yourself, who on earth made this? Yeah. <laughs> I have. Actually, yes. Half of reality TV, I always ask that. Well, today, we're going to show you 10 reality shows from around the world that might be hard to believe they actually exist. Oh my god, this is exciting. Oh, I cannot wait to watch these. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, I've seen this. What is that, a chocolate shoe? I would never have guessed by looking at that. Guys have to put their taste buds to the test. I've actually seen this where it's like things that don't look good, but like you taste it and it's like actually made out of food. By biting inanimate objects and finding out. What? Okay, that's this is kind of cool. I'd watch this. <laughs> that's a real shoe, right? That's a real shoe. That is totally a real shoe. <laughs> Is that a shoe or chocolate? That's a shoe. That's an actual shoe. On a door handle? Ah, you could break your teeth doing that. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe there's a show centered around that. Whoever thought of that just it was definitely somewhere else. This is something I'd watch. So what is this called so I can look it up? So that was a Japanese show called Candy Not Candy, where contestants have to bite into objects in a room to see if they're real or if they're made of candy. I don't know why Jimmy Kimmel hasn't done this yet. Didn't like Jimmy Fallon do this? Is it food or is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's cool. I would totally watch this. The internet is filled with videos like that, and reality TV and the internet are just like very mixed and together. Remember, stop the clocks, and whatever you do, don't scare the hair. Good luck. Don't scare the hair. 90 seconds until the sun comes up. Keep that hair asleep, Sammy. This looks like so much fun. Sammy. And he's in a sleeping bag. Oh, and we need to jump around. The clocks are ticking. Well, that's kind of cute. The first one. This looks like a weird dream. Ticking. Got the first There's one. no way this is an entire show. No, oh, he fell. Go! If it turn red, they are about to go. Oh no! Get it! Get it! Oh <laughs> no! The hair is she scared the hair! <laughs> He's got out of bed and he's heading off! Okay, this is weird. This is very creepy and I don't like it. Remind me not to scare the hair. It was amusing at first until the hair got up. It's like, no. That was a British show called Don't Scare the Hair. I mean, cool, I guess. That would give me anxiety. <laughs> That's kind of clever and cute. And the little figures are adorable. I would not have guessed that this was a show before today. There are three things you need to know about this show. Shattered. I think I've watched this, or like, not on TV, but on YouTube. Over the next week, 10 people are going to go without sleep. The next so, week? Okay, this is the one that I think I'd want to be on. There's 100,000 pounds at stake. Let's go. Three. Let no me, where do I apply? <laughs> I don't care if it's hundred thousand dollars or pounds or whatever it is. They're about to be tested no. to the limit. Don't deprive me of sleep. The group have now clocked up 25 and a half hours without sleep. This is insane. About to be tested to the limit. When you want to sleep, a long, boring activity is the hardest to endure. Oh, so they're trying to get them to fall asleep. This is Joe. He's an expert on triangles. On triangles. What? <laughs> He's going to test them by sharing his love of three-sided shapes with the group for one hour in his most boring, monotone voice. I'm already falling asleep. I would definitely watch this. That was a show called Shattered that yes. aired in the UK where 10 contestants are all challenged to stay awake for seven days Horrid. to win a cash prize. Horrid torture. I know that after 72 hours of staying awake, you are considered mentally insane and it's just not healthy. There's a lot of shows that play around with the no sleep idea, but seven days, no one's making it. Twelve American girls searching for love. Oh no. Moved into an English castle. Whoa. Meet an ordinary guy who is pretending to be a prince. Uh, th so this is the look-alike they used. I heard about this one. Sir is going to arrive by helicopter. 
And the lady's going to be gently having afternoon tea on oh, the Oh, no. See someone who looks very well known step out. He'll be rushed away, and they then will spend hours debating who they think it is. Oh, there's That's my, great. Who they think it is. Oh, wow. You ass. That's f***ed up. Oh, there's <laughs> I got. Is that who I think it is? Prince Harry, but it's not. Like, who is this guy? It's not. It's his double. It's a guy who really looks like him. Basically, it's The Bachelorette without a real bachelor. So that was an American show that aired on Fox called I Want to Marry Harry, where 12 American <sighs> girls think they're competing for Prince Harry's love, but it's actually just a regular guy named Matthew. That is hilarious. At some point, once you see him up close, you gotta realize that's not him. In a few minutes, a couple will enter this box, they'll have sex. What? And then they'll have sex, and then immediately they'll have sex, and then immediately afterwards come out and talk frankly about what they did. To I me, To me, a panel of internationally renowned sex experts and in front of our studio audience. Welcome to Sex Box. Whoa, what? Box. Who does this? It'll be honest. It was just one big massive challenge and never again because I nearly passed out. <laughs> yeah. Funny. I'd like to ask, if I may, what kind of sex you had in there. My ears! <laughs> and for some viewers, possibly uncomfortable. Did you yes. have anal sex? Did you have anal sex? As in a television... <laughs> Did you have anal sex? Did you As have anal sex? Show, I'm shook right now. Experts hold a grown-up conversation about sex. I don't know what to say here. <laughs> My parents are watching. All right, so that was British television series Sex Box, where participants, well, they do exactly what she said in the video that you just watched. And in the interest of keeping this video monetized, I will not explain <laughs> this one any further. I think I got the point. They're pushing the envelope way too far for my taste. All limits are off these days. Of course people would watch that. Of course it's a thing. I've heard that the UK does kind of, uh, edgier kind of shows. After seven days intensive training, Lie down. Brendan finally uh, realized the partnership with hockey puppy. wasn't quite working. Oh, Is this a show about tra training a dog to herd sheep? Lie down. I don't actually know how to do this. I've got to really change my personality <laughs> to try and huh? control the dog. Okay, I don't know what the f*** is going on. <laughs> he and hockey made fast progress. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. And the dancing shepherd started to cast his eyes on the prize. People actually watch this. Is it a reality show about someone who needs to train a dog who herds? That's awesome. So that was 100% real British TV series Flock Stars, where celebrity guests battle it out to see who can be the best shepherd. The show did not get picked up for a season two. <laughs> Dang it. I think that's a great theme. Who is coming up with this? I would not have believed this show existed before today. Maybe it's just me, but I think that's so interesting. I'd love to go and find season one. <laughs> this remote village in the Eastern Czech Republic is the location of the new reality TV series on Czech Public TV. It's called Holiday in the Protectorate. Holiday in the Protectorate? The show sends three generations of a family back to the time of the Nazi occupation. No. Nazi occupation. Accompanied constantly by... Uh, this would be scary. ...to be recreating the circumstances in the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia... Why? ...after Germany invaded Czechoslovakia, Bohemia God, and Moravia... that's scary! ...after Germany invaded Czechoslovakia in 1939. Ooh, yeah, right. And have the... The bad guys come in and search and tear up their place. The family was told only that it oh would be living God. some time in the past. That sounds intense. I would get this if it was like for an educational purpose. But for entertainment, uh, I'm a little lost. So that was a show created by Czech television called Holiday in the Protectorate. Right. The seven members of the family are very real, but the rest of the characters in the show are actors. Right, like the, the Germans that come in and tear up their place searching for contraband or whatever they think they're yes. hiding. Yes. yes. Right. So for obvious reasons, this show was pretty controversial. Oh, I bet. I think it's really interesting. That sounds made up. We don't need to relive those times. This definitely requires sensitivity and context. Your cash is locked in a tiny oh. briefcase in the oh world's smallest security vault. Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Smallest security vault to retrieve your winnings. Okay. Get the case off the pole. However, the pole is electrified. 
And the so this is Operation, but with a briefcase. Activate the alarm. Oh my goodness. If that happens, you and your team will leave with nothing. All right, so you have to have a really steady hand. I bet that like broke up a lot of friendships. So that was a small but mighty UK TV series called Smallest Fortune. The show was actually picked up by NBC and will be hitting American screen soon. No way. I totally watch it on TV. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have to record this. I'm axing those in Okay. <laughs> this is not a show. Wait. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous about this. I wish I knew what was happening. Oh, is this like a prank? Like a pranked show? Okay, this looks disturb. Oh, sh. What did you do? They plant a body in their cars? I'm so confused. Ask your ex. Ax Your Ex. What is this? So that was Indian TV show Ax Your Ex, where people come on the show in order to prank their exes with wacky but sometimes over the line pranks. Yeah, wow. So the concept of the show is like pranking your ex. Yes. That I get. This? Uh, this has to be the pettiest show ever. This is like punked or like any of those other shows, but just like times a million. Shut up! I saw this on Instagram. I've seen this on Twitter. <laughs> Is it just me or do I watch all the Japanese reality TV shows? Because I've seen this. This was so much fun to watch. What are they stepping on? Like so? Is that ice? And they look like they're barefoot. They've like oiled up those those uh, stairs and they have to find their way up. Looks like the Power Rangers. Does anybody succeed? No, he took them back. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> sound effects make them look like cartoons. <laughs> Boing. Yeah, you could really like strategize correctly by like hitting other people on the way down. What I love about this is that it's ultimately harmless. He's getting up there. Oh, if he falls, that's gonna be so sad. Is he gonna make it? No! Don't fall, don't fall. Oh no, he was right after the blast. You saw how Blue jumped though? Go him. What the hell was that? All right, so that was Japanese game show Slippery Stairs, which <laughs> is pretty much exactly what you think it is. Simple, but so great at the same time. All right, so finally, of the bizarre reality TV shows that we showed you today, which of them would you be most inclined to actually watch? Oh, I'd watch the one uh, about the, the sheep herder with the dog. Ax your ex one, just because that seems so freaking entertaining. Candy, no candy. I totally would like to be in that, because you never know. Is this laptop chocolate? No. Thank you for watching this totally normal episode of The Tents. What did you think of these strange reality shows? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey guys, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. Now those TV shows might have been weird, but you know what's not weird? Supporting our channel. Check out shopfbe.com. Every t-shirt hoodie that you buy helps us bring you more videos just like this one. Bye guys. Oh.